Good evening, Solomon. I understand right now that, I mean, we, we all know we've had lots of shifts and continued shifts here on the planet, but particularly at this time, uh, can you speak to what uh, is being known as um, the light body, integrating our light body from, from your perspective? Well, this is the idea of awakening, re-converging with your eternal self. This awakening, this is the word that many of you are using right now, and we don't care what word you use. The idea being that you are moving more into a state of light as opposed to a state of darkness, which is typically where the human species has been up until quite recently. So moving out of the state of darkness, you naturally move into your state of lightness. You do this individually, yet collectively at the same time. Lightness, again, being represented, represented by the idea of love and all the facets that would fall underneath that umbrella of love. As you become more in tune more aligned with that eternal part of you that is pure divine love, as you become more in recognition of that and you begin to live from that state, you move into a lighter body. This is just a term that is being used. The idea being that you are lightening up, you're expanding, you're feeling more at ease, more at peace relinquishing the need to control every aspect of your life, but yet knowing that you are in complete control. This one trips up your friend all the time. Your friend being Stephanie that's sitting here. Being in control, but not in control at the same time. How does that work? Well, from a eternal point of view, being connected to your higher self always. You are in control through your higher being that is directly connected to source energy that is only there to support your needs, your desires. You're relinquishing control from a physical point of view, from a physical mind point of view, from an ego point of view. You're relinquishing control to dictate how your life is going to unfold and you're allowing it to unfold magically through the higher self by being in attunement with it from a physical standpoint, from a physical body, from a, from a human being level. So as the planet wakens up, to a certain degree, you will all will also notice that there will be a pushback from the other direction. This is part of the duality of life on Earth. Well, that was my next question. Um, would you speak on the new Earth? Well, you are in the new well, Earth. Well, I was going to say uh, your perception of it again. It's, it's merely a transition. But life is always a transition. Life on earth is a transition. Eternal life is a transition. So as a collective community on the planet earth, you have been moving into a new earth mm -hmm. for quite some time. Only now it is moving much more rapidly than ever before. And this is because of the momentum that is building. This is why more and more people are developing their own connections to source energy. This is why more and more people are doing yoga, are going to juice bars, are taking care of their physical bodies, are looking and searching for more. They feel the energy that is being created, that is already being created, but that is coming into manifestation, that is coming into the planet. You feel this in the young people that are being born into your planet, bringing with them the new energy the clean energy, not that those who 
are here now don't have clean energy, but it is tarnished to a certain degree. So there is a emotional cleansing of sorts going on on the planet. This is where the pushback comes into play. Just like if you were to do some personal inner work, you would feel a little bit of turbulence, a little bit of resistance as you were going through that process. The same is happening from a collective level. Out of fear for what might be found. Fear deriving from those mostly that are in control of your economic state. It's a money-driven, fear-based paradigm that is not wanting to necessarily let go. But you don't need to worry about that. It's really none of your business. What is your business is to determine how you choose to live your life. What perspective, what point of view you decide to take in every situation. And where your attention is best focused. If you're worrying about what's going on over here, you may as well just jump over there and be on their scales. It's okay to know what's going on, yes, of course. Be aware, be knowledgeable without giving your power to it. If that's what you prefer to do. Does this help? Thank you, yes. Any um, uh, insight into earth changes, further earth changes? There's been, again, the usual talk of, of the West Coast, a lot of uh, seismic activity, the big one, you know, quote unquote, the big, big quake. I mean, I, I don't personally live in the fear, but also an awareness of that we are affected, we are affecting that that, that will be part of this shift that's happening. Along with life on Earth, there will always be, for now, what you would call natural disasters. Under that umbrella, we also include that which isn't necessarily a natural disaster, yet on the other hand, it technically is because humans are natural. <laughs> And disasters. <laughs> Sometimes. They can be, yes. We appreciate the idea behind being aware of what could happen, but then again, you're living in the idea of what could happen. Putting yourself into the vibration of that. So as opposed to thinking it out too much, if it feels wrong to be somewhere at a particular time, then leave. If it doesn't feel wrong until somebody tells you that, oh my goodness, there's going to be something happening here, if that triggers the fear and prompts you to leave, then of course you're not living through your intuition. You're allowing other people's ideas to dictate your next move. So it's about being in tune with how your body reacts based on what you're experiencing. If everything in you is telling you to not be here right now or to not go here right now or to go somewhere right now, then follow that without question. Of course, this is where your mind comes in because your mind will need to determine how you're going to do that. Your mind needs to tell you to put that foot in front of that foot and so on and so forth. But the idea is to allow your inner self to guide you to where you're best suited to be. But always coming from that place of trust and knowing. If you're coming from the place of, if I move here, it might blow up tomorrow, then you're now putting yourself in that vibration of my chances now are really good of being blown up. 
Do you see the difference? Thank you.